Hi, uh, my name is Emily Shilton. I'm here to talk to you about the co-op experience at the University of Waterloo. Um, so a little bit of background about me before I start. Um, I'm originally from Hamilton, Ontario, and I started at the University of Waterloo in 2015, and I'll be graduating class of 2020. Uh, my program is Mechatronics Engineering, and I also declared a minor in English Literature to help kind of balance out my degree a little. Uh, I've been a lot involved in a lot of extracurriculars at the University of Waterloo. Some of my favorites have been, I got to compete on the varsity field hockey team. I was part of the autonomous student design team, which was working to build an autonomous car. Um, I was the director of Waterloo's Women in Engineering program for a term. Um, and one of my favorites was probably being an orientation leader uh, for the engineering orientation in the fall. Uh, I've done that every year and it's been one of uh, probably my favorite things to do. Uh, today, specifically, I'm here to talk to you about co-op at the University of Waterloo. Um, so Waterloo Engineering requires students to complete co-ops throughout their time here. Um, and the schedule with which you complete your co-ops versus your work term really depends on your program. And within your program, there's different streams. Um, so on the right side, uh, I've shown an example of some of the streams that are available. So you can see you might either start with one study term or you might start with two study terms and then jump into your co-op. And then also, depending on your stream, you could even have two of your co-ops back to back in which case you would have one eight month co-op. You could either choose to do those at the same company. Um, and I did that for one of mine and I really liked it because I was jumped into one of my projects a little bit deep um, and kind of get to sort of stay at the company longer and learn a bit more. But I know some people like to sort of split those up and do sort of six different uh, companies just because they want to try and work at as many companies as possible. Um, and both of those are really great options. I think the most common questions that I get asked about co-op uh, by high school or first year students is just kind of like, how, how do I get a job? Um, and I kind of came in with the same worries because you know I, I didn't really know anyone who was an engineer and I didn't really have any connections to industry. But thankfully, Waterloo is really great about connecting students with um, the right jobs um, that they're able to get for different experience levels that they have. Um, so I think the best available resource that Waterloo has is Waterloo Works. Um, and it's an online job portal specific for University of Waterloo students where the University of Waterloo reaches out to companies and says we have all these amazing co-op students and they post jobs in this internal job portal. And then the university facilitates all of the interviews, they come to campus um, and you're able to meet with them directly or if the company is sort of outside of Canada, you can call um, at one of the rooms available that Waterloo provides. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of jobs in, in, in Waterloo Works, so um, there's definitely one for you and whatever experience level you have, but you're also able to organize your own job outside of Waterloo Works if you do sort of have a specific company that you're interested in working at. Um, beyond that, they also have tons of resources to sort of help you get prepared if you're feeling a little bit behind. Um, so they have resume critiques, they have practice interviews, um, there's meetings with upper year students that we organize to make sure that um, for your specific program, you can receive mentorship from students who kind of know what types of jobs you're applying for and what your resume is gonna look like. Um, so even if it seems like you're not really sure what you're doing, by the time it comes to apply to jobs, you'll sort of know what you need to do and you'll be prepared to kind of be able to get the co-op jobs that you're interested in. Um, so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience at the University of Waterloo um, and the co-ops I've had. So I'm in mechatronics, so uh, the jobs that I'm gonna talk about are kind of specific for mechatronics engineers. Um, but the experiences um, are similar across all programs. Um, so I had five different co-ops and I'm just gonna talk about three from, from kind of different industries that I worked in. Um, so for my second co-op, I worked in research and kind of academia. Uh, I went to the National University of Singapore where I worked as a research assistant. Uh, this was pretty mind blowing for me because I remember I was like 18 and I was able to sort of like move across the world uh, to go work as an engineer. Uh, sort of in Asia, and I remember just being sort of awed by that experience. Um, so while I was there, it was, um, yes, I did work, but I think probably the highlights were just kind of getting to explore. Singapore is really beautiful. Um, I also got to travel a bit outside. They gave me time off work because they recognized um, it was really exciting for me to go see different places. Um, but technically, I also got to work with the university um, in developing their new kind of like robotics educational program for people who are looking to get into, I guess, like technology, like later in life, kind of change careers. So it's a bit of an intro with the goal of getting people uh, new jobs. Um, so I guess that center photo is me with sort of one of the robots I was working with. We were kind of doing in-class labs, so I had to kind of get the robot running and then help the students figure out how to do it. 
Um, the top right was actually, I ended up winning a hackathon while I was there and I got to participate in Emerging Tech Asia Conference. Um, so I met sort of all of these sort of leaders in um, robotics in Asia. So I don't know, it was, it was pretty mind blowing to me. It was really awesome. Uh, my second co-op experience, I just, my third, sorry, my third co-op experience, I worked at a startup. Um, this was really awesome. I got to stay in the university, in the city of Waterloo. Um, and at the time I was on a student design team. So that was great because I was able to continue my work on the student design team, as well as um, sort of get a really awesome co-op job. So I was working at a company called Ad Hoc Microsystems as a mechatronics engineer. Uh, and it was a really cool company. It was based, um, it was started by some nanotechnology PhD graduates, and they were building this very tiny microelectronics device that would sit inside sort of glasses or VR goggles, um, and then it would be used for eye tracking. Um, I really loved the startup experience. It was very relaxed, it was very casual, and it was incredibly hands-on. I feel like I probably learned the most working at a startup because, you know, everything had to be very go, go, go. You had to be able to jump from project to project. Um, and I also really loved working at in the city of Waterloo. Uh, that center photo, I was able to join the sailing team for the term and I got to go uh, compete at a regatta. I didn't really know how to sail, but uh, it was a really fun learning experience. Um, and the photo on the right, I was just trying to show uh, some of the fun things you got to do at our startup. I don't have a ton of photos, but my favorite was that they bought all of the co-op students hawk slippers because their company name was Ad Hoc. Um, and we just got to wear those around the office every day. And uh, I don't know, it was, it was just a really fun time and I really loved it. Um, for my fifth and sixth co-op, I decided to move from a smaller company to a bigger company just to kind of understand how the differences would be. So I worked at eight, at, for eight months at Apple at their headquarters in Cupertino, California. Um, I was working as a hardware reliability engineer, which basically means um, I looked at the, sort of the little PCBs, like the small electronic devices, and tried to understand how users use them and how they were going to degrade over time with wear. And while I was there, I got to work on the Apple Watch Series 5, which came out in fall of 2019. So that was really satisfying to spend all this time working on this project and then get to see people wearing it. And I got to go to the store and see people sort of like buying it. So it was really, really satisfying to be able to build something that people were gonna use and people were gonna love. Um, I really loved living in California. It was different from Waterloo for sure. It was a lot warmer um, and I got to go outside. Um, I think the bottom right photo, I was in Yosemite for a weekend. Um, and then just working at Apple, there was lots of really awesome experiences that allowed me to happen. So I was able to visit their manufacturing facilities in China. So I got to kind of see the end to end process of sort of how it gets built to when it's put in a box um, and shipped out to customers. Uh, and that top right photo, we were able to go, um, there was a Steve Jobs Memorial event. So Lady Gaga came to our campus and performed a concert for all of the employees. Um, so it was, it was very cool. It was very large scale. Um, and I'm really glad I was able to kind of have that experience at a larger company. Um, so those are my experiences as a mechatronics engineer in the co-op and the co-ops I got to have. Um, and I talked to some of my sort of friends in different programs and I found some sample jobs that they've worked um, and their job titles. Uh, but even for all of these programs, you can have the same, I guess, breadth of experiences. So you can do um, all of these at small companies, at startups, in academia, um, and you can sort of be able to explore the full range of opportunities that your program provides you and see what's right for you. So when you graduate, you kind of know, I guess, what industry you're looking to go into. So those are my thoughts on the University of Waterloo co-op program. Feel free to reach out to me or anyone at the University of Waterloo if you have more questions or want to learn more. Hope to see you on campus soon.